morning, folks. This morning's soap is brought to us by Wet the Face, the Perfect Cup. There's about four ounces of soap in here. It's a, a very soft soap. Kind of see what it looks like there. I already kind of mixed it up in there. It is very soft. Just that soft. <laughs> It's uh, closer to being a, uh, it's a crope, and it leans closer to the uh, shaving cream side of things as opposed to the soap. Uh, whips up really nice and easy. Um, today's blade of choice is a treat silver. It's the box that it comes in. Either the blade comes double wrapped, and it looks like this. I've got just a little bit of experience with this uh, blade, but I'm going to try it out in the uh, Fat Tip Special Edition Piccolo. And it's got the uh, safety bar base plate, gentle if you will, sensitive. But there is, as it goes for overhang, it's just a tiny bit. It's really hard to see, but it, it, it is there, but it's just a tiny bit. Just a slight overhang. Got the uh, Allen block with no rubber band this morning. Humphrey's Witch Hazel that's uh, methylated, uh, citrus scented. I methylated it, by the way. <laughs> Put some menthol crystals in there. And here's the matching aftershave from uh, Dawn's collection, if you will. I did use the uh, Banulay pre shave uh, oil this morning. Hot towel was done first, and then the pre shave oil. I've got it whipped up here in my uh, wooden bowl from the Distinctive Goat. That's what it looks like there on the inside when you whip it up. This one here, yeah, this is the walnut one. And uh, use the brush from Raven Brushworks. It has the uh, uh, synthetic uh, horse hair knot. And it's, I whipped it up just a, it's still wet, but not dripping wet. So, we'll see how that works. I'm sure it's going to work out fine. I guess you might say it's going to be more of an experience of the, uh, how is the uh, blade going to work out for me this morning. I just better take my watch off this morning. Um, the scent is, of course, coffee scented. Uh, if you're familiar with coffee and have smelt different coffees before, uh, this is uh, what I would consider a full body scent of coffee it smells nice it's it's what i would want in the morning <laughs> i like that that aroma i guess if you will sometimes i smell coffee and it's not it's, it smells like coffee it's it's all right uh, this one here is one that makes me uh want to have a cup of coffee in other words yeah very nice scent Don't know. You might be able to tell. There's some of the there's coffee grounds that are that's in this uh, soap, so you're going to see some of it probably throughout the shave. And I do have a flying friend in here. I tried to persuade him to go out, but he um, he wouldn't cooperate. <laughs> really nice scent. I like coffee scents. This would be the, you might say, second edition of with this. Manny wanted to see the uh, open comb version, and I did that one on Wednesday. And this one here will be the, uh, you might say, the safety bar version. This is a very good looking shaver. I'll put some links down below. If I remember correctly, this weighs about, I think it's like close to two and a half ounces. Length, I think, is 3.15. In other words, just over three inches. I'll put a link down below that gives you all that information. I 
and it, uh, that link will be from the Italian Barber, which they're fresh out of this particular shaver. Um, I, I really like it. <laughs> to get um, more or less two shavers in one, And when I bought these blades, didn't necessarily have myself in mind for these blades, as opposed to uh, getting these blades for my son. Uh, he does have, you can see it starting to, I guess you might say, form his beard growth. And uh, these are pretty inexpensive. Got these through Italian Barber, uh, 200 pack. Trying to remember how much it was. I think for for a hundred it was like five dollars. He's got them. Italian barber's got them on sale. And uh, I want to say it was eleven, twelve dollars. It was pretty inexpensive for a two hundred bag. So when I got these, I really got these thinking my son that he could use these inexpensive. That way, if he gets carried away with uh, what he's doing, they're not real expensive. And no more whiskers that he's uh, taken off. Probably work out pretty well for him. He did shave last night with, uh, with a Gillette Super Speed flare tip. And uh, used that blade and seemed, everything seemed to go okay. So, I think I did alright getting him... Uh, Treat silver for right now, but I'm sure by judging by the whisker size, uh, he's probably going to have to transition the thicker that gets, the older he gets. In other words, he's, he got, ended up with my whiskers. <laughs> They're kind of thick. This particular blade. I can feel it going through the whiskers with this uh, shaver. I guess you might say it's not necessarily the smoothest cutting blade. Definitely could use it. If your beard's not real thick in diameter, in other words, it might be worth a try. Especially a hundred pack for a, like I said, for remember it's five dollars. I still like to say I can feel it cutting through. It's not tugging, at least not yet. We'll try it, you know, I'll find out on the against the green. Uh, now when I was using this blade in the um, Parker semi slamp shaver. It did have a different feel to it. It was smoother in my opinion. This one here feels somewhat different. Got that strip right through there. I'm going to have to catch this morning. Seems to be getting a little thick. Had a nightmare. Woke me up this morning. Don't know why. Well, I do. I, I have an idea, but uh, had a nightmare thinking that I was going to trim my uh, facial hair here with electric trimmer. Tony comes along and bumps my elbow and whoosh, <laughs> takes off a big old chunk of it. <laughs> that was my nightmare. <laughs> I've still been thinking from time to time you know, looking at how much I would need to trim off this side over here and then this side over here and then leaving this in the middle and uh, trying to visualize what that may look like. Is it going to look the way that I would want it to look? And I think, I think I can get it there. It's just when you're cutting off, you know, what is a considerable amount of growth. Uh, yeah, it'll grow back. But it's going to look funny for a while if I mess up. And <laughs> Anyhow, I've been giving it a lot of consideration here lately just to see what it looks like.
trying to visualize what I look like in it. I'm kind of thinking that it ought to look okay. In other words, it's not a uh, where I'm at, you don't see. It's very rare that you see anybody with that kind of style. In other words, uh, anything that looks like uh, Colonel Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken guy, um, that kind of facial hair. You'll see some others every once in a while, some uh, as it goes for handlebars like that, just not very often. I'm thinking about giving it a try though. Like, see, it does grow back. It just looked kind of funny for a while. Right through there. That is a. It's kind of like one of those things in this particular area, as opposed to me approaching it this way, if I remember on a regular basis to hold my racer like that, it seems to catch more of it. Doing, uh, change the angle of the approach. I have to say this is a uh, doing. Fairly decent, a little bit better than what I was expecting going against the green. With this blade. Helps to have a good shaving cream too. Or soap. This uh, lather whipped up really nice. Don't think I'm going to actually end up with a lot of stinging from the aloe block. I just think it's uh, how it's moving through the whiskers is a little different than uh, most of my other blades that I've got. Still smell the coffee this morning. Yeah, I made just to go get me a cup of coffee. Made up, fix a pot of coffee. My wife's up already and she's waiting for me. <laughs> she waiting for me to make the coffee. Post shave feel. Really nice. This is uh, one of those that you could probably, if you're uh, looking towards uh, that direction, in that uh, not using uh, an aftershave that's got alcohol, maybe your face, your skin is uh, like that, where you can uh, look for something that still has a scent that hangs around and your face feels pretty good after your shave. Uh, this would be uh, one of those kind of soaps, in my opinion. Which it, that's been like that for quite a while. I think when I get a uh, after the video's done with, I'm gonna rinse it, rinse it out just a little bit more. It gets quite messy when I do that. I did have just a little bit of stinging right there, just one spot. But outside of that, that was all the stinging I got. Like I say, it's probably just a different feeling on how that blade cuts through the whiskers. Just feels different. My son last night uh, used this witch hazel. <laughs> he was yelling from the bathroom, "My face is burning." <laughs> it's not burning, but you know the menthol effect. You know he's not used to uh, that, not knowing what to expect. That and the aloe block. I uh, have a uh, matter of fact. Uh, gave him one of these to use and it was one of the first times he used alum and that probably helped a lot with the with uh, his shave he's got acne here and there and so the shave menthol alum block <laughs> but I tell him I said you know over time it'll not only will it start, you know, looking better, but it'll feel better also. Aftershave here. Um, it's pretty typical as it goes for the amount. Uh, 3.4 ounces. And that 
is what the restrictor looks like there. You can tell I already had the seal broken. I had to get a good whiff of what the uh, aftershave smelled like. It is great. Nothing like getting a nice smell, nice aroma coffee in the mornings. Still tinkering with different kind of coffee brands, see which one works best for me. But uh, now last time I checked, Don still has the perfect cup uh, in stock. If you haven't seen already, he's got another one out. Uh, Hawaiian Tropics, I think is was the name of it. Maybe Island Tropics, I have, don't remember right off the top of my head. It's one I'm caught up here that I'm thinking about trying. It sounds awfully good. No cuts, nicks, weepers. Like I said, just had one spot stinging over here. Not too bad, especially when you factor in how cheap <laughs> these blades were. Might be worth a try. Especially, like I say, I think the 100 pack is like $5, $4.99, I think. Uh, might be worth a try. Especially if your beard grows, uh, if your diamond or your whiskers aren't too terribly thick. You'll probably feel different than what I did as it was cutting through. I don't know. Maybe the next few days I'll go ahead and trim that up and see how it looks. I might give it a try. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.